we're here today talking with Zoe and Zoe's been doing some one-on-one training with me over the last um, 10 weeks. So I wanted to chat to Zoe today about her experience and just see, I guess, uh, the amazing results that she's got throughout. So um, Zoe, talk to us about why you started doing the training with me in the first place. So after my second baby, who is now two, I was experiencing bladder leakage and then also yeah, just wanting to get back into fitness and fun time for me again, really. Help with pelvic floor. Pelvic floor. Yeah, it's the, it, just general well-being and yeah, not so tired all the time. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. And, you know, you used to train with us uh, many years ago when you had your first uh, when you lived in Sydney, but now you've moved to Canberra and so... Um, you inquired us sort of about joining online so that we could help you there. So I guess talk to us a little bit about that um, as to, you know, I guess why you came back to train with us and, um, yeah, how's it been for you online? Um, so knowing that I've worked with you before, um, get the results that I needed uh, with the pelvic floor and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, yeah, also working on my, uh, over Zoom is a fair bit easier than I thought initially. Um, yeah, I thought that would be a bit disconnected, but it's not really. Yeah, so I really quite enjoy it. And then being able to play it back is really convenient at your own leisure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's great. So I guess what um, what benefits have you seen in doing the training over the last uh, over, over the last 10 weeks? Um, so leakage has stopped um, yeah, when lifting my son. Uh, and then also, yeah, toning and muscle that are firming, lost a few centimetres around thighs and tummy, um, evening up the thighs as well because there was quite a, a difference between the two. And, yeah, just, yeah, not so tired all the time, having that motivation to do stuff, whereas previously just too tired to do anything, you've got to use energy to make energy. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that, I found it really beneficial, Excellent. and yeah, especially with specific focus on the pelvic floor. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And yeah, I guess you know I've seen you improve so much as you know when you first started. Like you say, you were having leakage. Um, now we not having any um we're training um you're so much stronger you've even been through a bout of the flu with lots of coughing and still no leakage so you know that's that's a huge testament to you know how hard you've been working and yeah how far you've come so that's that's really really awesome and just that the energy and i think you said you know being able to run around with your your son outside um all of that is um, is huge. And you've also nursed a few injuries throughout um, our training together as well. And um, I guess talk to us a little bit about that. You know, we've had the feet, we've had knees, we had neck. Um, so, yeah, talk to us yeah. a little bit about how we've, I guess, worked through those injuries throughout the process so you could still keep training. So all your um, exercises have been adaptable to what is happening in my body at the time because there's always something going. Um <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. so when I'm having issues with my neck, then we modified or did something to address those issues. And same, similar with the knees and the feet and also my ganglion and my wrist, um, being able to take note of what's going on and modify the exercises to either fix the issue or avoid aggravating the issue further. Yeah. Yeah, until it was, yeah. That's a big thing, isn't it? Because I guess a lot of people, when they've got those injuries, they're just like, oh, I have to stop exercising now. But, um, yeah, we've sort of always found a way to get through and to keep you moving over these last 10 weeks. So, yay, yeah. yay, yay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so big credit to being adaptable and That's modified. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's great. So I guess, um, yeah, how are you feeling now? How are you feeling now that you've, you know, you've been through the training, um, yeah, how are you feeling now as opposed to when you started? So when I started, I was really tired and just exhausted, um, yeah, constantly. So doing a full-time job as well as tickets, just getting through the day and then by the end of it, you know, still having to come home and maintain the household and do all that sort of stuff, just not having the energy there to, to do all, all of that stuff. So now 
yeah, I'm managing that a lot better. The energy levels there give me a bit more, I guess, stamina to get through and then wanting to apply myself to do those workouts and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. It's such a big thing, isn't it, when we, I guess, when we're mums and then we go back to work, just feels like we get, I guess, in overrun by everything else and we don't take any time for ourselves. So I guess, in, yeah, in you taking that time out to do something for you, it's actually given you so much more energy to give to everyone else in your life, right? That's right. But it's often the last thing that we, uh, you know, feel like doing or we think we don't have time for it. But in actual fact, in doing it, you've you've made more time because you've got more energy. And, yeah, so that's really nice to see. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, you're really proud of yourself for how far you've come over the last 10 weeks and you've lost centimetres off your body. One thing you didn't say was how your pants were falling off. That's awesome. Oh, um, that's true, <laughs> yes. That is true too, yes. Yep. So yep. that's really cool. But, yeah, you've done really, really well and, you know, I, it's it's a real credit to you that, you know, as you've gone through and we've worked through the injuries, you've just kept, you know, you've just kept chipping away at it, kept working at it and you've made those changes. So you should be really proud of yourself, Zoe, and it's been great working with you. So thank you. Thank you, Julie. No worries.